Hi guys, welcome back to world.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to weld different thicknesses of material together and my favourite two ways of doing this. I'm going to use the flick technique for this. A 3mm sheet to a 1mm sheet. Now the 3mm is going to go on the bottom of the lap weld and the 1mm is going to go on the top. I'm just going to tack it together so it stays firmly in place. So now I've tacked it into place. For this, I'm going to be setting my TIG machine up for the 3mm bit of sheet. So, I'm going to be using a 2.4 zirconiated tungsten as I'm welding aluminium. And I'm also going to be using a 2.4 aluminium 4043 silicon filler rod. I'm using a foot pedal and my amps are up to about 180 for 3mm. It's very hot for 1mm but we're not putting most of the heat into that and we want to make sure it fuses. So I'm going to show you the flick technique without welding it and just the torch angle. So we want to be pointing the tungsten down towards the 3mm, the thicker bit of plate, slowly going along and once the weld pulls there you want to quickly flick and point the arc up onto the thinner bit and back down until they're fused. Adding filler wire or autogenously, you can do this whichever, I suggest using filler wire as it's a bit easier. And you're just going to go along, slowly moving it, and you'll be watching the weld pull to see when they've fused. Now we don't want to put too much heat into the one millimeter sheet, as it will burn away and won't look as good. This is a good example of the flick technique. It creates quite a wide weld but fuses them together. So another technique for welding different thickness materials together is having your TIG set on pulsed. When welding different thicknesses together, you always set up your machine for the thicker material. So for this, I'm using 5mm and 3mm sheet. So I'm going to set my TIG machine up for the 5mm, which means changing my tungsten to a 3.2 and also changing my filler material to a 3.2 and upping the amps to around 240. I'm using a pedal so it's a bit easier to set your amps up high and you don't have to use them all the way. So I'm just going to tack these together again to make sure the joint is secure. So I'm going to be pointing three quarters of my arc at the bottom plate as this is where I want most of my heat to go and a quarter onto the top plate just to make sure it fuses. I'm using pulse for this as it helps the weld move along as well. So as you can see in that clip, I'm pointing most of my arc heat down into the thicker material and then just fusing it with the top one slightly. This is my 5mm to 3mm weld. As you can see, it's quite wide, but I am using a 3.2 diameter filler rod and a 3.2 diameter tungsten. 
This is just so it creates enough heat to melt the 5mm plate. Welding different thicknesses together isn't ideal when welding. You can do it, but I'd stick to welding the same thicknesses together unless it's necessary. I've practiced lots of times welding different thicknesses together and I'm still not the best at it. Always set up your machine to the thicker bit of material settings. There you have it guys, a couple of ways to weld different thickness materials together. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.